Thank you so much, Steve. Well, first up tonight, everybody loves a mystery. Whether it was reading uh, Hardy Boys or Nancy Drew as kids or watching CSI as adults, it seems uh, analyzing clues and sorting out suspects never really gets old for oh, anyone. Oh, no. Now, whether you're 8 or 80, playing the amateur detective is something we all seem to love. And this love of a good mystery is hardly new. Need proof? One of the hottest detectives around is nearly 130 years old. Mm, it's true. His name is Sherlock Holmes. He's the subject of a brand new interactive experience in our region. And it doesn't take much detective work to figure out that we're all guilty of wanting to play armchair investigator. Our own Amanda Devison was on the case of our mystery love affair today, and she joins us now with more. Amanda. Well, Bruce and Maria, the man who was never born never seems to die. Sherlock Holmes is a classic character who's appeared in novels, movies, and television shows. And every time, his personality and intelligence just mystifies us. What is it about it that is a mystery no, mystery, no matter how many times we try to solve it? We're always hungry for more. And we tried to solve that mystery today. How I ever came to write the Sherlock Holmes stories. Since Scottish author and physician Sir Arthur Conan Doyle brought the fictional detective Sherlock Holmes to life in the late 19th century, he's fascinated us. Now, tell us quietly and slowly who you are and what it is that you want. Whether it's Jeremy Brett in the 80s. There isn't any time to waste there. Robert Downey Jr. on film. A modern Benedict Cumberbatch or the original novels themselves, we're hooked on Holmes. Is it his deductive reasoning? His disguises? Or is it something bigger than the iconic detective himself? I think he represents our hope that all puzzles can get solved. Rowan Mateson is an English professor at Dalhousie University in Halifax who specializes in detective fiction. She says the reason why Sherlock captivates our imagination is simple. We want answers. We want things to resolve into patterns. We want puzzles to, to be solved for us. We want the world to make sense. And he brings that kind of promise, things that look mystifying, things that look inexplicable, things that look supernatural and thus outside our control, turn out to be solvable. But it's not just the detective. There are countless shows and stories about solving crime. Mason says the mystery genre represents our fundamental fears. We're always probably at some level worried. What will happen? What are the dangers? What are the risks? And what do we do when something bad happens? Who's in charge of fixing it? So they bring us up against those very fundamental conflicts in our society. Whether it's a book, a television series, or movie, people of all ages are fascinated with mystery stories. But can you solve a mystery yourself? One exhibit in Halifax is trying to see if you can. Could you describe her? At the Discovery Center, you step back in time to Victorian London, where a new murder mystery has you wearing the famed detective's deerstalker cap. It's reading intensive. It's made up of uh, eight different chapters. Uh, and you go through and you try to solve the murder. It's called Sherlock Holmes and the Clock Tower Mystery. The style of learning is, is very scientific. It's about inquiry-based learning, about investigating and uh, deductions and that type of thing. So very much following the scientific process. And it tests the wits of both kids and adults. And collect clues and it might be artifacts, it might be words, it might be uh, clues that you hear or smell. Uh, and put out, put that all together to complete the story. But no matter how many stories home solves, we're still hungry for another mystery. And the Sherlock Holmes Clock Tower Mystery Murder Mystery Exhibit isn't easy. You have to do some sleuthing. Only about 10% of participants actually solve it. Mm. And it also opens tomorrow at the Discovery Center in Halifax. You can try to solve the case yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. You're welcome. CTV's Amanda Devison reporting live for us in Halifax this evening. Kind of makes me want to solve a mystery. I know, we'll go to the Discovery yes, Center. Yes, we'll see if we'll you're be. in the 10%. <laughs> we'll be there by 6 o'clock. <laughs> All right.